What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. Today we're talking about a brand new vulnerability that was released in the wild that could be usable for a jailbreak because according to the security researchers who have released it, it was patched on 15.4 and it works on iOS 2. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device and manage your photos, music, videos and so on. Check it out in the link below. Also thank you to the patrons who are supporting this channel on Patreon, they're right now on your screen. So cyber Advising posted a couple of days ago, quote, CVE 2022-22639. The issue is fixed on iOS 15.4 and iPadOS 15.4, macOS Monterey 12.3, and an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. Proof of concept available here on GitHub. And yes, they did post it, but the proof of concept is for macOS. Now, there is also a page here, macOS SU helper root privilege escalation vulnerability, a deep dive into this vulnerability, and it's basically explaining everything in here. And of course, course people naturally tagged me into this as you can see over here and asked me about it and so on. Well according to them this works on iOS as well and if you go ahead here on the security content of the iOS 15.4 they do actually mention that here too. You can see it in here in software update is the same CVE number by Mickey and it says in here an application may be able to gain elevated privileges and it's available on iPhone 6s and newer. So yes it appears that this vulnerability was indeed present on iOS as well even though the write-up itself only covers macOS. And even the proof of concept seems to be made for macOS as well. But yes, the vulnerability appears to be in iOS as well and it might be exploitable. Now, according to Apple, this issue is in software update and it says that an application may be able to gain elevated privileges. Not exactly a huge kernel exploit or anything like that, but it could prove useful. So for now, for those of you who are asking me whether you should update or do anything like that, this was patched in 15.5 which means that 15.3.1, 15.3, 15.2.1, basically all the way down to 15.0 should be vulnerable to this. But 15.4 and 15.4.1, which is currently signed, shouldn't. So if you're running 15.3.1, definitely do not update further. But if you're running 15.3.1, there might be other vulnerabilities as well that will be released soon. And for 15.3, 15.2.1 and stuff like that, there are vulnerabilities. But yeah, it's unknown for the moment whether this one will be usable for a jailbreak or not, it doesn't seem to be very powerful in my opinion, but I could definitely be wrong. It could be usable for Uncover or Torin, we don't know for the moment. But the vulnerability is indeed present on iOS. So if you're running any of the vulnerable versions, for example 15.3.1 or older, definitely stay as low as possible. It's always a good practice to stay as low as possible. So yeah, definitely an interesting release. We don't know what's going to be about it for now, whether developers will use it for a jailbreak or not, but definitely stay as low as possible. That's the best advice I can give you because you never know. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.